No, no, no. no. What we're trying to do is order. These, these General Assemblies didn't want to speak. Thank you. I'd like for them to be recognized. They've been waiting for five minutes. There is a point of order. We have to follow it. We have to follow it. I have a clarifying question that I think could help some of the people here. Can we please And that's what I'm trying to do is clarify this. Can we ask a question? Can we please briefly define the difference between a protest, a rally, and a demonstration so we know what we're deciding on? I, I guess that's the broadest, broader level of people to define what those are. The interpretation I got and the impression I got from the group that was organized over here was that a rally would be a short period of time, typically four hours or so, to initiate efforts along the lines of Occupy Delaware. Would people agree that that's what a rally would be? Okay, the second item you hit on? Demonstration. A demonstration, I, we didn't really get into defining it, but I, I guess that would be a broader effort. An occupation would be where you're camping out and setting stuff up. I don't know about demonstration. Anybody want to define okay, demonstration? So the difference between a rally and a demonstration is really simple. With a demonstration, you have points that you're trying to prove, that you're trying to get people on board with. When you have a rally, you're trying to get people motivated to your cause, a general broad cause. Yes. Demonstration has specific points. Thank you. Rally, everybody's just trying to wake everybody up. Yes. Thank okay. you for the clarification. I, ha I have a concern about Rodney Square. I know we all, I, I put my hand up for it, but then as we were doing the committees, I heard a lot of people that were curious about the facilities. Like if we do occupy Rodney Square, where are people going to go to the bathroom? Where are people going to eat? You know? Well, at this point, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, if, if we want to take a formal vote or not, and maybe that would be a good idea before it sinks when it's too much. Like that in our Are we, okay, have we defined ourselves as initially having a rally on Saturday? Yes, we have. Yes. We already yes. for that. Okay, yes. everybody yes. agrees on our concern. Okay, the majority agrees along those lines. We, we did talk. For the first round, to have it Rodney Square seems reasonable and appropriate. It's a close period of time. It gets the group together. It, it, it allows us to at least get up off the ground. Okay. We may occupy some places. Along those lines, the media group, we got together and discussed things. We're going to have the web page modified so that we cover one that we've adopted, the, the new occupation of Newark, and their mission statement. Okay. We're, we're going to talk about the number of people that met, and, and the other, there was something else we accomplished right before we start breaking down into the committees. Oh, I have utilizing Rodney Square for the initial meeting. We'll advertise the fact that Saturday we're having the rally at Rodney Square, and I don't know that we completely defined the time, but it sounds like 10 to 2. 10 to 2. 10 to 2, okay. Are we all voting for 10 to 2 on Saturday? 10 to 2. 1, okay, that's done. From, okay, what the media group means is the individual subcommittees and stuff. If you guys have defined things that are your area of emphasis, your own subcommittee's mission, and, and what you accomplish, and maybe a burger down list of things that you intend to cover, get it back to the media group, and we can get it up on the web page so that when people show up on Saturday, yeah. We, we, that we can send them off in different directions so they know where they're going to go. The other, the other thing that we believe is necessary is you develop a message for each one of those subcommittees of things that you think are really important and try to get in touch with us as well and we'll help, if you would like, crafting it so that it, it, it portrays as well as possible out to the broader public. Point of concern? Yes. My concern is that we start publishing positions adopted only by committees and not by the General Assembly, it might, rep it might end up resulting in representing a position that the entire General Assembly does not hold. Right, and, and what, I would agree with it. But what we could do is say a subcommittee is working with this framework of what they've early defined 
as part of their living document and, and kind of put it in the broadest of terms so that you could at least hit on the things that you've covered and where you think your interests are or the efforts that need to be made. It can change. You can wipe it all off the board Saturday because you have a new group of people and go in a different direction, or you can move on to some other committee that you think you're more interested in. But I think at this point we have to figure out how we're going to get our message out and how people are going to participate. Um, the point of the subcommittees is to come up with ideas and then present them to the general to the other subcommittees, and if they're in consensus, then we present it to the general assembly. The right. point of the rally on Saturday is for everyone who's not in this room or was not here tonight. Everyone in this room knows what's going on. We are organizing. The rally is so that we can present everything we went over tonight to everyone else on the Facebook page who was not able to be here. Right. And the general public. Uh, Andy? Uh, Jim. Jim. My, my understanding was that we were breaking up into those committees. My understanding was that we were breaking up into those committees. And then each committee was going to report out to the General Assembly. That's right. We were going to reach right. a yeah. consensus yes. on the right. things that were discussed in the committees. That way, our media team, of which I'm a part of him, um, and several other people, can take that, that consensus that we've reached tonight from each of those committees and public communicate things. that to the general public in various ways, too. We've got a marketing person on there. We've got bloggers on there. We've got the, um, the Facebook site. We've got uh, Twitter. Um, we've got yeah, people with it. radio and TV contacts. I know you're bored with me. No, I'm just saying. Who wants to report it? All right, yeah. so who wants to report? That was our report to the meeting. Who's next? Yes. Okay, so the demands group got together and eventually our mission statement group kind of disbanded and came over and joined us. Uh, right now, we're starting up a Yahoo group. Uh, I don't know what it's called, mm -hmm. but yeah. we already have a mailing list. Uh, people who are part of the uh, part of the demands group and part of the mission statement group wrote their names and their emails down. They'll be added to this group. If you were in another group working on something else, you need to come communicate with the lady over here. Hold the envelope up. Give her your name and email so you can be part of this group. So you can review the Occupy Wall Street's list of demands as well as our list of demands and give your input on what you want to be included. Uh, and if you don't do that, it won't be there. And for the media team. You guys need to communicate with our group as well, okay? Can I ask a question? Uh, well, in our group, we collected emails of everybody in our group. So we, we, we need to get all the lists of emails put together. So I understand. Who's going to do that? Right, right. So that's a matter of, like, where's a hub where all these can feed in? Is there one That's the point of the Yahoo group? group? The Yahoo group. Yeah, yeah. You can collect all the, the emails from each of the... Unless there is a separate group. committee set up to collect their emails. That, this is the question. I don't know whether anybody's thought about this. That, or well, I mean, obviously, you can utilize the internet in various ways, and we have Occupy Wall Street, well, Occupy Delmarva, Occupy Delaware, they're all different things, but they're all the same. Well, if there's somebody, all the teams <laughs> can communicate to, who will then yeah. communicate to the other teams? Yeah. 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 Yeah
to make our own food, basically. Um, we talked about a whole bunch of stuff. I think our general consensus on the matter was when we finally had a date that we were going to start our occupation, if you want to come out to be part of that occupation, we would like to suggest that you bring a week's worth of supplies for yourself and you. We will not be prepared to be meeting people right away because we don't have anywhere to take donations yet. I just want to make a general statement. Um, we've been out at the time for uh, three days now. Um, we've not run into any trouble with uh, police or any officials. And we've actually had people from um, the courthouses for Reynolds Legislative Mall in um, Dover come from the courthouses and discuss stuff with us. I think by over-organizing the way you, you know, Occupy Delaware is doing, I think it is going to kind of alienate the general population at large because they don't want to look to another group to get involved. They just want to have their voices heard. Um, and I can tell you how we've done it, but Who's I think... Who's we? Who's we? Who's Occupy Occupy We're all Occupy Delaware. I mean, that's, that's what we're here doing. That's the end goal. We're here to occupy Delaware and to kind of change the way things are done. But I think by over organizing and having meeting after meeting, we're going to start leaving people and we're going to see the group completely in this band. We have to meet. That's the point. We've got, we got another group here that wants to bring forward uh, the revelations. So. Uh, I'm here with um, arts, culture, and education. I'm just going to give a brief synopsis of what we talked about. Uh, we identified that uh, arts, culture, and education should be kept together. Uh, depending on how large the movement becomes, it may have to be separate at some point. But we, we said for education, our first uh, kind of task should be talking points about the banking crisis and talking points about uh, corporation injustice. Uh, we also talked that we need to uh, think about religious activities. Um, paintings, our, our group should be helping people paint signs. We want, we have an interest in a poet's corner. We should use our culture and education to bring in new folks. We need to educate ourselves first so we can help educate others. Um, we need to figure out a message that we're trying to educate or just multiple messages. Uh, there's an interest in bringing in music. Uh, we need to tell people to ask themselves the question why they want to occupy, why there's a movement. Um, each of us should bring our, think about our interests, <coughs> think about whether we want to start a table and maybe a discussion. Uh, we're united in this movement through our pain and distress with the injustices that we've each experienced. We should consider a children's space or corner that can provide comfort and toys. Um, art should be used to express the message. There was an idea of starting a banner or a graffiti wall that people would be able to come up and draw or write why, they, why they're there or support the movement. Um, the arts, art, the arts, our committee uh, documents our movement. I mean, the media does that too. But you know, the signs and the expressions that people put out there is really uh, a visual of why we're all here. We need to consider a library. And one person suggested us creating a, a poster that shows different faces and ages and genders and backgrounds of the people who support this movement because the media keeps just trying to say there's 20-something-year-old college hippies. So that's what we do. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll see. Do you have a question? Yes. Can your group do the research and bring the information for the banking system and the crisis and how that works? Can you bring that to the rally Saturday to present it? Can you make the it's Wednesday night? <laughs> but uh, that's and a lot. On we, I think with the, the we can try is a good is a good. That's if someone can do it, awesome. I'm not going to guarantee 200 people what? that we can do it. I'm not sure. I, what was that question? He, he was asking if uh, we could bring information about the banking crisis on Saturday, which we might be able to, we might not be able to. I think people who really want to educate that are in, you know, in that group, I think we should be able to. Yeah. We can I just don't want to promise it. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe like, it's like a similar point of education for like banners and then like an art thing about how to make good like, banners. <laughs> when the team writes your name, email address now. Go on. There you go. Yeah. 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 I'm going to say that. That's it, everybody. Yeah. 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 Has everybody recorded out? All the groups recorded out? One more? Okay. Yeah.
five minutes there. Morning. I'll make this really brief. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm a, uh, one of the facilitators for legal and security. Uh, we are our point of uh, action. Uh, we number one is to make sure we contact legal aid. We already had a contact with the ACLU, the Lawyers Guild of America, and we're going to make a uh, contact with uh, the Legal Aid Society to make sure that we have legal observers for an occupation. Um, and for the occupation itself, we uh, need to develop a code of conduct so that we can show that we are a ruling group, that we can police ourselves, and we don't need the police. Peaceful assembly. Peaceful assembly. Um, and uh, within that code of conduct, we'll be developed a uh, self-regulatory process, uh, which this both uh, the code of conduct and self-regulatory process will be brought up to the General Assembly for a vote. Um, the, final item, the final item is uh, training for legal observers and anyone who wishes to help with security. Uh, that's all I have. Any questions? Can I just make a suggestion that uh, if you have the opportunity to print out a list of demands, I would say Wall Street since we're, we haven't really got a chance to everyone agree on our demands and all that for Delaware. Just make a list and print it out because we want, the rally is to get people interested. Yes. Give them a reason to be interested. Yeah. And yeah. not just committee, because we're all yeah. yeah. by email. We're the already. demands committee. Right, and that would be the demands committee on legal and security yeah. only. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have all the yeah. people yeah. Yeah. on the street. At the rally. All right, last report out is our facilitators. And this is a really uh, important committee. Uh, we're going to do it really briefly and we're going to try and close. We have to get out of here by 10. It's also a kind of stack of chairs to clean up. So we're going to get as much done as we can as quickly as possible. Thank you, Mr. Brady. My name is Nigel. I'm uh, going to be reporting for the facilitators group. The um, facilitators group was somewhat loosely and quickly put together. Um, we had a previous group, but nobody really stepped up tonight to do it as we had hoped. So many of us are going to continue with a few new additions, which is fantastic. We appreciate those. Um, real quick, the main goal of the facilitators are facilitators for the meeting. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be outlining the meeting, the process of the meeting, how the meeting should generally flow, what that means to you guys. You guys are operating in your committees. The things that you are coming up with will need to be decided by the General Assembly, as Dana so cleverly mentioned. Um, so what that means to us, though, is that we're going to have to have a convener for your facilitator, whoever you are, for lack of a better word, you know, your go-to person for your committee, we should all meet with the facilitating group sometime before the next meeting to build the agenda and the process for the next meeting so that that way it goes smoothly and to a certain plan. Uh, there will, of course, be time allotted for things like voting and, you know, clarifying questions and stuff like that. That's all part of the process. That's how it's supposed to go. So, but we need to be concise. We need to be efficient. We need to get to the point so that it get all crazy like it actually did tonight. Um, so, that said, what we'll do with those email lists that are put together and sort of, you know, once we get the email list put together, we'll come up with a time to meet before the next meeting. Now, as far as the next meeting, has that been decided yet? Has anybody laid that out? All right. There was talk that we would basically do same bat time, same bat channel. Next Wednesday here, 7 p.m. That seems to be easy. we got plenty of people out here tonight. Hopefully we can get more because we've got all of you folks. I'm going to say, yeah, I agree. Let's do a straw poll. Who is everybody, uh, rather, is everybody for 7 p.m. next Wednesday? We do not want to do it sooner because we want time for the committees to get together and do their thing and then report back to the facilitators and the facilitators need time to build the meeting effectively rather than slapdash. Aside from that, we only have the hall on Wednesday. Plus, yeah, well, we're only guaranteeing the hall the, the for Wednesday. So, that seemed pretty strong, but not terribly. You said clarification. There's no other meeting before the rally on Saturday, then? I could ask. Sure, go ahead. Anytime this group assembles. So, if this group is assembling formally on Saturday to meet, you are a general assembly then. You're responsible for your organization and the deportment of that demonstration or rally. Okay. So you are a general assembly. You call it whenever this group's together. That's that's your church. <laughs> okay. Well, but my question is, yes. um, 
There's a lot of shopkeeping. Is the rally just going to be a bunch of people showing up from 10 to 2 and hanging out? I would say stay tuned to the Facebook page and the website. But who's going to, what I'm saying, I think you're missing my question. My question is, if there's not going to be another general meeting between now and the rally, Who's going to set the agenda for the rally? Who is there going to be a program? Are there going to be speakers for the rally? Action is not going to be setting up the agenda. That is a facilitator's meeting. I think that a general outline that we can start with is, you know, who we are, what we stand for, and then go into educating, you know, education. With all due respect, I understand your points and what you're saying there, but I'm saying who's deciding that? You went to Delaware. We're the general assembly. You went to Delaware. Who's going to decide that? That's right. The facilitators, any time a committee comes up with an idea or something they want to do, they present the general assembly. Correct. And we're here tonight, but we're not going to be back before Saturday. Yes, but every time we assemble, it's a general assembly. And then we make the process of the assembly. I think it's important. He's saying we need an MC, a director for Saturday. That's what the facilitators are for. Take those ideas and organize them to the group. Right now, we're gathering a list of people who want to have a specific subcommittee. Mario, we're going to be here. We're going to be there on Saturday. We're going to be talking. If you have ideas, we're going to see them. Quiet, please. Quiet. Quiet. Order. Order. If this event on Saturday is going to be the face of Occupy Delaware, we are going to look ridiculous. Now, as somebody who's been doing demonstrations since the Civil Rights, let me tell you, all we did was throw up with a sign, we were out there, we marched, we protested, we are overdoing this thing, and we're going to turn people off from it. We need to have certain speakers with a certain message, and we need to know tonight what that message is, because it speaks to all of us. We have to decide what the message is. I think we look great in the I don't think we look ridiculous at all. It's not that we look ridiculous. This is how it's being done. It's all the things that it's happening. It's all the things that it's happening. And it looks ridiculous in a lot of ways. Why is that? Why is that? For the point of order, I'd like to turn it back to the people who go to South Point. Where do you work? Well, Claire, we didn't waste a lot of time all of you. Whoever organized the meeting did not have a whole list of you from missing to the occupied Wall Street agenda. If we had, we would have cut half of this time in half. So, for the point of order going forward, let us say this, we did not include inclement weather. And what could happen if Mother Nature changes the scene on things? Now, I know we talk about a lot of things, but we got to put this into consideration. We started a rally on Saturday. Along with that rally, that's the responsibility of everyone here to know the Wall Street mission and what the list of demands from New York are, at least. At least, that's the very minimum that we all must articulate to anyone who shows up in Rodney Square. That's first and foremost. And then secondly, at the next meeting, we expect this August night to have the holistic mission and holistic demands from New York. That will give us a basis to figure out where are we going to set the occupation up, as well as alert law enforcement, the sheriff, the police, the county, the state, the federal, federal and even the National Guard must be alerted before the occupation. Okay. You don't have to put all the chairs up on the side back there. They're going to fall down to do that. Just if you catch them lying across the hall, along this floor right here. Open. Just, just straight across the head. Just stay across here. Just line them up. Pull them back here next thing, hopefully. And respectfully, if we can, just set it from 7 to 10. Um, Wayne is here by herself. She volunteered in it. She wants to do it from 6 to 9. Can we do it from 6 to 9 next week? Nine. 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 Nine
seven. 